Hey there, it's Ashley Perkins. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome to the best place to build income, influence, and impact for your business or brand online. Facebook is an incredible platform for targeting your audience. If you've got a budget to work with, which not all of us do. The days of off the charts, organic reach and viral content are quickly becoming a pipe dream, which forces us to get creative about getting noticed. One of the many strategies for doing this is to create and participate in Facebook groups that are relevant to your target audience and niche. So today I'm going to be giving you my top tips for success as a host and participant in Facebook groups. And if you stick around until the end, I've got a bonus tip and a social media strategy template that will help you plan which groups you'll participate in and when. So let's get started. As a participant, your first step is to find the right groups. Not every group you come across is going to be worth your time, so it's important to vet them properly through keywords and search terms before you request to join. It also doesn't hurt to do a little extra homework and contact anyone you may know that's already in the group to see what they think of it. I say this because being involved in a Facebook group goes way beyond checking in once a week and posting a promotional link to your content. You want to make sure the groups that you're joining have a mix of your target audience as well as people in your niche are not filled with tens of thousands of people and spammers and you also want to stick to only about one to five groups to avoid falling behind and burning out. Step two is to know the rules. Every group has its own set of rules which cover where and how to introduce yourself, the type of content that is or isn't allowed, where and when you can promote yourself, and so on. These rules can usually be found in the group description and knowing them can mean the difference from embarrassing yourself and even getting the boot and landing your next client or sale. Step three is to introduce yourself, not only upon your acceptance to the group, but it's a good idea as the membership grows to continue to introduce yourself to newbies every so often. As I said before, make sure you review the group rules before you do this so you don't post anything that's not allowed. But generally speaking, you should post a photo of yourself with some details about you, what you do, and a link to your website or conversion site, again, if it's permitted. Step four is to give what you get. As a general rule of thumb, I always say give twice as much as you get. It sounds time consuming, but if you've kept it focused and only joined no more than five groups, Taking 30 minutes each day to answer questions, respond to comments, and engage with others is nothing compared to the benefits it can bring you. A great way to meet new people and expand your network is to collaborate. So wherever appropriate, open yourself up to collaborating with other members within the group who have a similar audience to your own. These groups are also great for mining your audience for data. As long as you do it in an engaging way that follows the group rules, like asking a question about your niche. For example, if you're a travel agent, you could ask, when was the last time you took a trip and why did you choose the destination you traveled to? A bonus strategy I have for participating in Facebook groups to grow your business is to log each of the members you're engaging with most so you can keep track of each of your interactions and capitalize on any opportunity to convert them outside of the group. Okay, so now let's talk about Facebook groups as a group owner. Step one is to have a reason. Starting a Facebook group just because everyone else is goes back to that age old saying, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? My point is it's a quick way to set yourself up for failure. Whether you wanna build a more intimate community outside your business page, build your list or create a knowledge base on your niche, you need to be really clear on the purpose of your group before you create it if you wanna grow it successfully. Step two is to be on brand. Like everything else in your business, Potential group members should be able to find your group and instantly know who's running it and what it's all about. That means including your face, logo, brand colors, and templates in your cover photo and all of your consistent posts like the ones you'll be allowing members to promote themselves on. Step three is to set the rules. 
Your group is a reflection of you and your brand. So it's important not only for yourself, but for your members to outline the rules of your group. This ensures everyone is on the same page when it comes to member posts that will result in their removal, as well as the general do's and don'ts of being a member of your community. If you plan on having posts on certain days where people can promote themselves, which I highly recommend that you do, among other engaging posts, make sure it's included in the group rules. You'll also want to include any themed days or posts and how often members can expect to see them in the group description. These can be rearranged based on the feedback you get from the group, but just make sure you stick to them. Step four is to roll out the welcome mat. Whether you've got 10 or 10,000 members, welcoming each of them by name and giving them a chance to introduce themselves is just the right thing to do as the owner of a group. It also gives you the opportunity to direct them to the group rules in case they miss them so they can get the most out of the group. To save yourself time, you can pick a day each week where you'll welcome new members so you don't have to drop everything you're doing each day that they roll in. Step five is to show up every day. This doesn't mean you have to spend all day sitting in front of your phone or computer watching what people are doing inside of the group but you want to apply the same 30 minute check-in rule from being a participant to being an owner. Take that 30 minutes to respond to comments, questions, and welcome new members, or at least make note of the newbies you'll welcome on the day that you've scheduled to do so. Showing up every day also means providing insane value. Because if your members don't see, hear from, or learn from you, they're not going to stick around. So a few ways you can do this are through live video trainings and Q&As, member spotlights or features, exclusive challenges and contests, and prompts that get members engaging with you and one another. All right, now it's time to do your homework. But if you're looking for a head start, click the link below this video and download your social media strategy template. There's plenty of room for you to plan your Facebook group marketing plan in there. And if you're still wondering about that bonus tip, Join me over on the blog where the best conversations happen. You can also find that link down below in the description box too. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below and share it with your friends. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do because I post a new video every week. See you next time.